Hey everyone. So here we, here we are, uh, just a little over halfway done with our, our deep dive here into the west direction. And we've gone through sacred space, we've gone through boundaries, we have explored um, what transformations we need or want in our life. And today we're going to talk about forgiveness. And uh, that's uh, one that a lot of people uh, kind of balk at. They're like, I'm not going to forgive so-and-so for what they did. Um, <coughs> whoa. <laughs> All right. So we've got Navi here, obviously, who wants to be the star of the show. And, uh, and I'll forgive her for that. <laughs> forgiveness is uh, such a powerful, powerful tool. And we... we uh, come to it in the west direction. Oh, Navi, you got me all dirty and wet. Oh boy, there's a creek behind us and she's uh, been in it. <clears throat> um, forgiveness lands in the west direction because we come to a place in our life where uh, an event happened, so a seed got planted in the east direction, and then our resentment and anger over that uh, festered in the south, so we nurtured that um, that seed. And now that we're in the West, we've got a choice. We can either harvest what happens if we continue to nurture that anger and that um, resentment. And if we do uh, allow it to continue to be nurtured, then what happens is it manifests in the West direction in the form of a physical ailment, usually cancer. And in order to go the other route, we embody forgiveness, and we um, and we get past the event that led us down that road to begin with. And so, forgiveness is really about you. It's about saving your soul. It's about freeing up your energy. <laughs> Somebody's really angry at me right now. <laughs> Because we're not hiking. I hope she forgives me. Um, anyway, we we work with forgiveness because it really is more about us than it is them. It's not about the event. It's not about the other person. It's about breaking that contract, breaking that cord that we have uh, tied to them. And forgiveness is the perfect antidote for that. Once we have forgiven, then we are able to move forward and and begin nurturing different seeds. And so we look at the people or the events in our life and oftentimes it's ourselves that we need to forgive. And we allow ourselves just that freedom and that movement that, that forgiveness brings. And forgiveness happens in layers. It's not something that, you know, you're going to say, oh, I forgive, uh, you know, grandpa for this. And then it'd be over. Sometimes it's, I forgive this piece of it, and then this piece, and then this piece. And when you know that you have sufficiently forgiven somebody is when you can uh, think about them or the event or the situation and have absolutely no emotion one way or the other about it. Um, and so that's, that's where we want to get to. We want to get to that place where we have um, exhausted... All the emotion, <laughs> all the emotion from it. <laughs> oh, I know. Please, just let me finish my video. These guys want to hear about forgiveness, honey. And so we, uh, we begin that process, and we do it again and again and again and again and again until we no longer need to do it, and we reclaim that power back that that person or that situation has. Um, and, and bring that power back into ourselves eternally, internally. So what I want you guys to do now is to really figure out where you need to um, add that layer of forgiveness into your life. And I will say this, if you are um, experiencing um, physical ailments, and more specifically uh, cancer, uh, digestive problems, heart burn, heart issues, all of those things can relate directly to um, a need for forgiveness. So 
consider that. And if you have that going on in your life, then try to trace that back. And usually, if you can trace back to the point where that issue began, <laughs> something about digging holes, you will have a clue of when that seed got when that seed got planted. So um, do what you need to do, and you know write down the people or the situations you need to forgive. There are some really awesome uh, uh, links out there for uh, radical forgiveness, and I'll try to put a link in the uh, the comment section here for you guys to to tap into, and you can print out some uh, downloads, and they will walk you through. Uh, the act of forgiveness in different levels. Uh, Hope No is a Hawaiian forgiveness prayer, and that's a very powerful prayer to go into meditation with. And so I offer those tools to you, and for you to, to begin that journey of healing that is uh, so vitally important, um, especially if you don't want that uh, to end up festering into a physical ailment, and it will. It, it absolutely 100% will. Any emotion that you don't process becomes uh, a physical ailment in some form so or it becomes an addiction so something to think about all right i will see you guys in the next video and uh you know down below i would love to know what what are you guys getting from these five days and what questions do you have right now because we're gonna uh, wind this up and any questions that you have from this point forward i would love to be able to answer them before we before we wrap it up all right thanks guys